Pursuing any sport to a higher level takes determination, commitment and passion. There's a lot of hard work that goes into training, learning skills and preparing to compete. Today, Wilders, we're lucky enough to be going behind the scenes with these junior elite training squads to see just what it takes to be a gymnast. These athletes, from the age of 8 right up to 21, are all part of a high-performance gymnastics program and they're all hoping to represent their country in world championships. OK, guys, so before we get into the different training regimes, can you talk to me about the different apparatuses that you work on here? Well, the girls do the balance beam, the uneven bars, the floor and the vault. And the boys do high bar, parallel bars, rings, pommel, floor and vault. Wow, and so what does training involve? Is it just practising on those apparatuses over and over again? Well, we need to do strength to condition our bodies to be strong enough to do the apparatuses, which, for example, could involve chin-ups, leg lifts and rope, and we also need to do over-splits. So you need to be quite flexible as well. Now, now, what else do you use as training aids while, while you guys are here? Well, we do tramp, tumble track, the f air floor and the foam pit. We use the foam pit for releases or dismounts off of bars. It's just a softer landing for us. Ah, cool. When they're competing, the gymnasts are awarded points for the content of their routine, how difficult it is and the way they perform it. And bonus points are given to those who pull off clever combinations. <laughs> and I can assure you guys that mastering these things <laughs> doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> what do I do, guys? What do I do? I'm scared. <laughs> I didn't realise this is so deep. Gymnastics uh, use so much training time because we uh, need a lot of uh, gender, uh, conditioner and flexibility and basics uh, drill and for the uh, difficult skills. Uh, uh, so we pretty much uh, doing a lot in the morning session is trampling, uh, drills, uh, low bars, uh, ballets, uh, particularly for girls, uh, make it nice, beautiful dancing and for the floor routines. These guys train between 14 and 33 hours a week. With their very busy training schedule, how on earth do they fit in anything else? And what about school? So guys, surely you must have to fit school in between somehow. Yeah, we start gym at 7am in the morning and then go to school in between. And a bus comes and picks us up at 10.30. Whoa, so hectic days. How do you manage to have free time? Well, Sundays is our only free day, so we can like relax and chill out then. And we have to be organised and hardworking. In between, yeah. So at the end of the day, it's a lot of hard work, but do you enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, I enjoy doing gymnastics and I really like it when it comes to the competitions. Yeah, it's good, but sometimes it gets a bit repetitive, but overall, I really love it. It's good. Even though the athletes in the program are all different ages, they share the same passion. So what do you love most about gymnastics? I love it's a challenging sport and not everyone can do it. So if you say like you're a world-class gymnast, you're like, oh my god, she's a world-class gymnast. So it's, it's really fun as well. I wanted to do gymnastics because I wanted to achieve something different in life and, you know, be able to enjoy more of the day and just have fun and be able to do something that most people can't do. And what are you working towards? Well, this year I'm working towards um, getting the top three at the Australian National Championships. And um, in the future, I'm working towards getting to the Australian national team. And what does it feel like to be able to master an apparatus? It makes you feel like you're one step closer to that big picture you have in your head, that you're just almost there, and it just feels amazing, pretty much. It's a challenging but rewarding sport for these dedicated gymnasts. Sam, who's been doing it since he was six, knows all about the highs of gymnastics. Oh, well, the highlight being involved in this program is definitely uh, just going to high-level competitions. I've been to three world championships and one of them was in Melbourne, so just competing for my own country in front of my home crowd was amazing. Uh, and then being in the 2006 Commonwealth Games as well in Melbourne, so that was just fantastic and win a couple of medals. So just to compete for your own country in front of your own fans has been incredible. Maybe I'm not going to be the next gymnast to represent Australia, but these guys are sure talented, so maybe they'll rub off on me.